So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Broken arm! Broken arm! Broken arm! Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to Las Vegas, Nevada, to the home of tough guy little Joey. Yeah, little man, five foot two inches tall, but he's a big tough guy, a wannabe gangster. Yeah, well, he doesn't understand what a privacy complaint is on YouTube, as he has filed eight of me in the last couple of days. Eight privacy complaints on me. What? None of them are going to stick, Joey. So I'm going to explain to little Joey in this video what a privacy complaint is all about. Showing multiple pictures of him and his family, of course. Yeah, Joey, because it's not a privacy complaint. Learn the game before you play with the big boys, Joey. This is a big boys world. Not cut out for somebody only five foot two. I didn't even know they stacked car manure that high, Joey. <laughs> Enjoy! All right, good people, we're going to begin this video with Joey's parole officer contact information. This is his new parole officer. Unfortunately, I don't have an email, but we're going to blow up this number day and night. I don't care how many times you have to call and how many messages we leave. We're going to fill up that voicemail. And this parole officer is going to know that we are serious and that we have to remove this despicable person from society. This idiot belongs in jail. He belongs behind bars. There's something wrong with this guy. He needs mental help. And he can get that from Bubba and the boys. Oh, they'll help him understand the difference between right and wrong. He'll be washing underwear for years to come and tossing plenty of salads. No doubt about that. Let's get the job done, people. Before we begin this video, it's most important to check this out at change.org. The link will be in the description box as well as a link for Frauded or Trolls channel that he is working tirelessly on to bring this idiot Joseph to justice. He is harassing people. He is doxing people. He is threatening people. He sent people here to where I live. He's a dangerous man, but he doesn't do his own dirty work. He has other people do his dirty work for him. This must stop immediately. And we, working together as one big team, can put an end to this. So please check the description box when you're finished with this video and put an end to this nonsense. Thank you so much. Little Joy seems to have a problem with my channel. He's filed eight privacy complaints in two days on me. Now, one of the privacy complaints went through and the video was taken down, but I put an appeal on it and it was reinstated within 12 hours. So, Joey, I'm going to help you understand what the privacy guidelines entail. You'll notice here in the middle of the screen, it says uniquely identifiable image or voice, full name, financial information, contact information, and other personally identifiable information. But you have to consider, you're a nobody. You're a Joe Schmo. If you were a celebrity, it would be a different process altogether. But you're a nobody. You're a five foot two piece of manure. That's what you are, sweetheart. Now let's look at a picture. Now here's a picture of little Joey standing beside a really 
Nice car. Woo, you can barely see over the roof, Joe. You're so short. Look at you. Just a short. Woo, I won't say that word. Yeah, but this is a picture of little Joey. Now, little Joey, you think that's a privacy complaint? Well, let's read a little further on privacy complaints, shall we? You'll notice here where it's highlighted, it says, for content to be considered for removal, you must be uniquely identifiable on the complaint received from the individual or the legal representative must clearly identify the individual by a combination, notice that word, combination of image, voice, full name, government ID number, bank account number, contact info, home address, email address, yada, yada, yada. Well, Joey, just because I post a picture of you doesn't mean it's a privacy complaint. Now, I want you to read that highlighted area again very closely while I post another picture of you. Now, here we have a picture of little Joey sitting in court conferring with his attorney. Now, is this a privacy complaint? Absolutely not, Joey. There's no name. There's no phone number. There's no first and last name, which are of utmost importance. Yeah, there's no personally identifiable information. You just look like a five foot two midget sitting in a chair that's designed for adults. That's all we have here. Now let's go over one more thing from YouTube privacy. Okay, little Joy, let's read what's highlighted here. It says, to be considered uniquely identifiable, there must be enough information in the video that allows others to recognize you. Note, just because you can identify yourself in the video does not mean you're uniquely identifiable to others. A first name, without additional context, <laughs> it was not going to qualify as uniquely identifiable. Well, now, what does all that mean, Joe? Well, let me post a picture of somebody close, near and dear to your heart. Little Andy Pants. Now, here we go, Joe. Here's Little Andy Pants, affectionately known as Chicklet. Yeah, Chicklet. Well, now, what does that mean? Well, in the scheme of life, it doesn't mean anything, Joe. It's not uniquely identifiable. In other words, somebody looks at this picture and said, who the hell is Andy Pants? Who is Chicklets? Hey, they have no idea. But it means something to you, doesn't it, Joey boy? You got that right, sweetheart. Now let's look at a final slide for the day. Looking at the highlighted material on the final slide from YouTube, it says that we will not accept privacy complaints filed on behalf of other family members, such as husband, wife, cousin, brother, sister, which includes sons and daughters. Ah, uh, see, Joe, you tried to file a privacy complaint on Andy Pants. Yeah, you remember in that video where he knocked out that 14-year-old kid, or was he 16? 26-year-old man knocking out a teenager. And you didn't want me to post it because you're ashamed of that. Is that what it is? No kidding. You're ashamed of that now that you thought about it? Grown man encouraging his grown son to knock out a teenager? I'd be ashamed of that too if I were you. But I hope this gives you a better understanding of what privacy on YouTube is all about. Because if you continue to file false privacy reports, you'll lose your channel. Oh, wait a minute. My bad. You've already lost one channel and you're on the verge of losing another. I forgot. Please excuse me there, Joey boy. Hey, our petition's going pretty well. How's your petition going against me? Probably not too well because nobody wants to sign it. We're going to have it taken down anyway. So anyway, Joey, uh, hey, if you're not subscribed to my channel, Joey, please subscribe now. Everyone else, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons, you subscribe as well. Thank you so much. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. With Joey's parole officer contact information, this is his new parole officer. Unfortunately, I don't have an email, but we're going to blow up this number day and night. 
I don't care how many times you have to call and how many messages we leave, we're going to fill up that voicemail and this parole officer is going to know that we are serious and that we have to remove this despicable person from society. This idiot belongs in jail. He belongs behind bars. There's something wrong with this guy. He needs mental help. And he can get that from Bubba and the boys. Oh, they'll help him understand the difference between right and wrong. He'll be washing underwear for years to come and tossing plenty of salads. No doubt about that. Let's get the job done, people. It's most important to check this out at change.org. The link will be in the description box as well as a link for Frauditor Troll's channel that he is working tirelessly on to bring this idiot, Joseph, to justice. He is harassing people. He is doxing people. He is threatening people. He sent people here to where I live. He's a dangerous man, but he doesn't do his own dirty work. He has other people do his dirty work for him. This must stop immediately. And we, working together as one big team, can put an end to this. So please check the description box when you're finished with this video and put an end to this nonsense. Thank you so much. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. Fuck you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Katie. Racist. Oh. oh. Racist Nazi, That's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. 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 I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing.